All right. Um, I did my green and I realized I wasn't actually filming. So <laughs> are we going to do this again? Um, so we're here we are with our green. We're going to choose um, our cadmium yellow light out of our two yellow hues because it is, as you can see, it is already leaning green, right? This is not going to be useful if we use cadmium yellow medium, which is our orangey yellow. That's going to give us a real murky, muddy green. So um, between our two blues, we are going to use the blue that is already more green, right? Which is our thalo blue. Our ultramarine blue is very purple. We're not going to be using that, okay? Because again, it's gonna make our green very earthy and muddy if we do use that. Okay, so we put that to the side. Um, here, we are pretty much gonna use equal amounts, right, of our cadmium yellow light and our phthalo blue. And then a smidge of a little bit more, maybe. We may end up actually using a smidge more of our phthalo blue than is here, but we'll see. That's what I needed to adjust the last time, as you can see from that extra blue there. Um, and then just a tiny, tiny bit, maybe a third or even a fourth of a blob of white, just a little tiny bit, not much, like a fourth, right? Okay, um, I already, this is green that I already had on my um, palette knife. So I'm just gonna scrape these up and I'm ready to mix, right? I don't have any other colors in there. Okay, all right, so we're mixing, mixing, mixing. Ooh, I wonder if we need Maybe we have a little too much blue at this point. I think we might. Let's see, though. Let's get a nice thorough mix. It's tough when you're mixing smaller amounts of your paint because even the piles, it's hard to get those piles you know, equal looking. So to me, this might be a little bit too blue. Okay. Maybe not though. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, let's go a tiny, tiny bit more with our yellow, just a tiniest bit. We don't want to make it that much difference, but about a quarter at the most, a quarter of a blob. Um, and we may actually be able to stick a tiny bit more white in there, but let's just try this first. Um, there we go. Right, so that's just gonna warm it up a tiny bit. Um, we don't wanna make it too warm. And I think we actually have a really good mix right now. Okay. So we will go ahead then and test this. I think this is a really good mixture. But we will know better when we get to test it. Again, nice opaque coverage. Let's put this down. Okay. And then I'm just going to turn this down a little bit so we can see. We're going to set it against our blue um, rectangle and our, oh God, and our primary yellow. And we're going to look to see if that green seems to kind of be evenly you know, shared, right, by the yellow and the blue. I see a nice little flash of yellow when I look across the border of the blue and the green. I see a flash of blue when I look across that other border. So to me, that looks like a pretty good hue midpoint between those two. I don't think it ends up looking too blue. Um, 
So I think we're probably pretty good to go uh, with that green. Okay, uh, thanks.